Welcome back to my channel. Today we're painting a watercolor butterfly. And if you're new, hello, my name is Nisha and I teach watercolor and illustration tutorials. So grab your supplies and let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start our butterfly with a bluish green paint. And then we'll put in the bottom wings. They're a little bit smaller than the top ones. And at this stage, all we're doing is putting in the shape in a really translucent light layer. And then we'll add on top of this as we go. You can also use your paper towel to lighten up any extra paint so that your wings stay kind of light and airy. You can also use a little bit more clear water to lift up some of that paint and then use the paper towel to again dab away. I'm adding in a light blue into some of the center parts and then blending out from there. And I'll also be adding a little bit of yellow. All right, and then with a clean rinsed brush, I'm blending out some of these edges, just pulling out that color, and then rinsing my brush in between each blending stroke. Okay, rinse your brush and grab some yellow. We'll add this onto the wings too. This butterfly is called the Queen Alexandra's Bird Wings. They're really beautiful and I think they're really rare. They're found in rainforests. I will also link below some reference images in case you want to have those on hand. And then also with that yellow paint, we'll put in a little body right in the center. The bottom half of the body is yellow and the top half is actually a darker color. But we'll just put in the basic shape for now. Okay, and let that dry fully. Okay, after it's fully dried, we'll add in some of the darker details. I'm putting in, with the end of the brush, just a little bit of that fuzzy body. They're a little bit hairy on top. <laughs> so you can go ahead with a darker, I have a black with a little bit of purple mixed in. And then with a rinsed brush, you can pull out a few strokes that are more translucent to blend them down into the bottom half. And then we'll be adding in some of the details into the wings. And I'm outlining the wings and adding some patterns. Also remember that you can turn your paper and switch up the angle. Just do uh, whatever works easier for you and your hand. The outer edges of the wings are a little bit thicker as far as the line, that dark line, and then as the lines come closer to the body, they become narrower and thinner. Same thing for the bottom wings. And just a quick reminder, Remember to hit that subscribe button on my channel so you never miss a brand new video. So when you're building in your patterns into the wings, just remember to keep it somewhat symmetrical. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
but it's going to be a mirror image on the left side and the right side. And for this part, I'm definitely referring back to those reference images so I can get something that looks similar to the picture. And again for the bottom wings, same symmetrical design and just indicating we're not doing every single line but just kind of giving an impression of a pattern. And then when you're done, you can add in two thin antennas. They're pretty long for this butterfly. And then we'll add some yellow back into the bottom half of that body. And it is somewhat segmented, so you can pull out little lines to indicate the different sections for each um, of the segments. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had so much fun painting. Also, be sure to check the description below. I run a free watercolor challenge every season. So if you want more tutorials and painting fun, join me there. I'll see you in the next video.